Hey everyone, welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to teleport a player from one part of the map to another with just a few lines of code. Teleportation is a really cool feature and it's super easy to implement in your game. So let's dive in. First things first, we need two parts to act as our teleport points. Let's go ahead and create them. I'm going to click on part from the home tab to create a part. I'll place one here. This will be our teleport pad and I'll create another part over here for where the player will be teleported to. Let's resize our teleport pad and let's make it green. Let's make our destination pad to be red and let's resize it as well. To keep things organized, let's rename our parts. So we will rename our teleport pad to be teleport pad and we will rename our destination pad to be destination next we'll add a script to the teleport pad to handle the teleportation so click on the teleport pad in the explorer and click the plus icon to insert an object and select script let's give our script a name i'm going to name mine teleport pad script. Now let's write the code. We'll detect when a player touches the teleport pad and teleport them to their destination. Here's how to do that. First, we want to get a reference to our teleport pad. So we will just say local teleport pad equals script dot parent. Then we want to get a variable to the destination. Next, we'll create a function that runs when a teleport pad is touched. And inside of here, we want to check if the object that touched the pad is a player. But first, I sometimes do this. I misspell function. And if the object that touches the teleport pad is a player, then teleport the player to the destination. And last but not least, we need to connect the function to the touched event. Okay, let's walk through this. First, we reference the teleport pad and the destination parts. Then, we create a function called onTouch that checks if a player touched the teleport pad. If a player did, we use setPrimaryPartCFrame to teleport them to their destination. Finally, we connect the function to the touched event so it runs whenever someone touches the pad. Now that we've got our code, let's test it. Click play and let's walk over to the teleport pad. Whoa, and just like that, we're teleported. Easy, right? That's it for today's tutorial. Now you know how to teleport players in Roblox Studio with a simple script. You can use this technique to create all sorts of cool mechanics in your game. Maybe you want to teleport players to secret areas or set up a checkpoint system. There's lots of possibilities. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Roblox Studio tutorials. Let me know in the comments what kind of features you want to see next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.